Welcome Vikings, we're back to Valheim and we're going to go through the latest patch notes that have been released by Iron Gate as they updated the game. And of course, as always, usually Steam will just handle the update. You just click update in the Steam client and it will update it. But it's caused a host of problems for specially dedicated and hosted servers where something was going wrong. Things were being changed with how they're handling saves and how they're handling the, the processes. And that took a while for some of the hosting providers to just update on their side to make things work again. So let's look at the first thing that says disable Google Analytics and this is something that was fairly controversial. Some people were kind of pissed off to see that it was actually there even though they disable it. It's not uncommon for games to actually have some kind of an analytics library in there to sort of figure out what is people doing with the game? What are they playing with? What are they not playing with? What are they potentially spending more time in and where are they not spending time on so they can sort of fine tune their development and it is controversial because I don't mind it, but I would like to have an option so that I can disable it. So I guess it's good that they have actually disabled it by default, but I do think that they should have an option to allow people to enable it because there is a lot of good information that they can actually get from that to make the game better. An update of the Unity engine, always good. It just makes the game better if they're using a later version of Unity. Forest Crypt fixes. I'm not really sure what they were having there, but I, I was hearing things about that they're improving on the on the drops and everything. So maybe that's something that was in there. Maybe there were some other problems. If you've seen the problems in the Forest Crypt, let me know in the comment section below what they were. Credits updated. I guess they're having more people now that are spending time on the game. The save system have been returned to the old new. I'm not quite sure what that really means. A little bit cryptic, but I know they've been having problems with that uh, world eating troll has been chewing on people's saves. So maybe they're trying to do something to fix that. Pickable sync fix, stones, carrots, etc. This I believe is specifically for multiplayer, where it's going to be a little bit more responsive when someone is picking things up from the ground. The dedicated server CPU usage fix, and this is, I guess, frame rate limiter. This is something that can always be a problem when the servers are sucking too much CPU cycles. And I was reading on Twitter that some people saw a tremendous decrease in this. So again, it's really good. It just makes servers run better. Earth smoke building fix. Now, as we all know, you put that campfire in and you get all that smoke coming up and then you're starting to take damage. I think they were having some issues or they're, they're tweaking of how aggressive that smoke is because it seemed like it was sort of just covering the whole building sometimes on the inside, unfortunately, even though you felt that, hey, I've, I've sort of blocked off so that they should be coming out somewhere else through my chimney. So it's good that they're maybe toning that down a little bit. Save system tweaks. I think that's connected again, return to the all new. They're trying to just make it better, make it more stable and less problems. So you saw even on the next one, we're gonna go down to here that says auto save is gonna be every 20 minutes as opposed to 30 minutes. They do recognize they have some issues. I don't think they've really tied down what is causing the database loss and the building loss, but I think they're trying to do something that just makes it a little bit more stable. Now the console save function can be used remotely if the player is added to the admin list. This is something that previously only worked locally, but there are a bunch of these commands and I think they're trying to make so that if you're on the admin list, you can actually save it manually, force that save. A really, really important change is the manual join IP function, dedicated service only. If you've been having problems with service not showing up in the server browser, and I have personally had that problem, there are some workarounds that allows you to, for instance, add it as a Steam favorite, you can put it as a connect option in your game itself, but the manual IP function, I'm gonna show that in game just a moment, will allow you to connect to an IP and port directly, and every game, multiplayer game, should have this kind of thing that allows you to connect to the server directly, bypassing, sometimes a very troublesome server browser. Extra tombstone checks to prevent them from disappearing. I haven't had that issue, of course I haven't died that many times yet, but some people were reporting that they died and they didn't have a tombstone, which means that you don't have your things and that can be fairly annoying if you lose all your gear. Better broken world handling crash exit instead of loading an empty world. Maybe this is connected to the, the saves being corrupted or being lost or something. And that, again, it's really important. The save should never be corrupted. You shouldn't lose your building just because you crash. And finally, localization fixes. It's good. A game like Valheim that is having millions of people now that have bought it definitely needs to have better localization just across all the languages that is being used. So what does that direct IP join? Well, you go to your start game, you choose your character, start, and then you do a join game, and there will be a join IP. Normally, you would have to select or search 
for the servers in the browser. Now you can actually do a join IP and you could put it in the IP colon port and it should connect you directly to that server, assuming it's reachable and actually is up running. And this is, again, thank you, Iron Gate. This is something that is make, gonna make it so much easier because the server browser simply was not able to handle the thousands and thousands and thousands of servers out there. So having a join IP is wonderful. I really, really like that update. But that's it for the patch. Do you think it was a good patch? What else do they need to do? What are the big problems they're facing? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, make sure you like this video. And if you enjoy my content, why not hit that subscribe button as well? And maybe the notification bell. I'll see you again, Viking. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedded community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.